All right, good evening, America. How are you? Kevin Clark here, Decision Making 2020. This is kind of a different podcast. I'm out in Minnesota and I'm watching them burn the cities down. Twin, now the Twin Cities are both on fire. They're burning St. Paul and Minneapolis. That's not going to get this young man or his family any justice. But they done peed in the wrong Cowboys Wheaties because they got Trump involved now. And there's a real swamp in Minneapolis. I, uh, it's going to be something else. The, the, it's going to be a bad night. Last night they were attacking fire department vehicles. The fire department? Are you kidding me? They've never arrested anybody. All these guys do is come when you're in trouble and help you. No matter if you're stuck in a tree or stuck in a burning building, these guys are going to be there for you. And you want to wreck their mode of transportation so they can't come and help maybe one of your family members? Obviously, the looters and uh, the people destroying things and breaking glass and tearing up things. Um, it... Uh, you know, this isn't going to get nothing accomplished. This isn't going to get this guy, that mur the murderer, arrested. Um, we need a lot of prayers right now. We need prayers tonight. Uh, we need prayers for uh, the, our first responders, our police officers. I, uh, I was listening to the scanner today, and I kind of dozed off when I woke up. It got so bad from this afternoon to this evening. I had to turn it off. I have cousins that were police officers. I have family members that were police officers. You've never heard me say a bad thing about police on this on these podcasts, except for the ones that were outright blatant murder, and I'll call them out quick because I like to keep it real. Um, it's tearing me apart, you know. Why isn't this guy arrested? Why isn't the three other accomplices arrested? Why couldn't one out of four save that man's life? My goodness, there's four police officers there. Now I call up a friend of mine down in Florida. Now I know everybody's got different protocols. I think it was Michael Brown down in St. Louis. Hands in the air, you know, the ones that supposedly had his hands in the air when, in fact, he was going for the officer's gun. They left the body in the street for hours. There's uh, the shootings that have happened down in uh, Florida. When, the, when there's a, a police-involved incident, they call the fire department. The paramedics come. If when the paramedics get there, the person that they come to help is dead. They do not remove the body. They leave the body there. It's now the medical examiner's responsibility, and he will take the body. This little incident Monday night, something very strange happened. Okay? The fire department went to help this man. And when they got there, the body was gone. I guess HCMC had slipped in before the fire department. And conveniently, so he couldn't be declared uh, dead on the site. They knew they had killed this man. And they're trying to cover their butt from Jump Street. The ambulance drivers, the police officers, they all need to go to jail. Ambulance drivers need to do five, ten years. I don't care. You don't not take somebody to the hospital because the police told you to jumpstart them before you take them. Or at least try. They didn't take that man to the hospital until after they saw that he was, in fact, dead and that they could not revive him. Man. Something else is bugging me, not sitting real good with me. This gentleman that I guess the story is that passed a bad 20. And that's why the police were called. It wasn't even a check. It was a, a fake $20 bill. Uh, 
they get called on a fake $20 bill and they get the guy out of there because they know they've done wrong. The ambulance tried to cover it up. They know they've done wrong. Nobody's been arrested yet. That ain't right. These officers need to be behind bars. They do not need the opportunity to flee. If you're too stupid to stop your boss from doing what was wrong and do your job that you were hired to do to protect. First word is what? Protect and serve like most of them do. But we got the stupid crew. A four. A boss that's stupid had many events and, and complaints against him that moved here 10 years ago from Houston. Happens to choke out and kill a man from Houston that moved here in 2018. This was a college uh, scholarship athlete. This is a high school athlete. They were both from Houston. Is this a coincidence, or do these kids have a past? I mean, the retard that killed the other one. They're both from Houston. One came here ten years ago. One came here two years ago. Did they have a past in Houston? What was his record like in Houston? I'm sure he had complaints in Houston. This isn't new behavior for him. It's not common in the police department, or we would see a lot more of this. So please don't say this is the normal practice. It's not. It's a very unfortunate and sad thing that this idiot did what he did in murdering this guy. If they knew each other, it's murder one. If they had a past in Houston in any conflicts, that officer remembers him. That was murder one. We need prayers here. They're burning the towns down. They think going into Target and getting a free TV is going to get justice for the family. They think shooting each other is going to get justice for the family. We've had a live shooter in St. Paul on two different occasions today. We had a live shooter last night. He had a half a dozen people. I don't believe there was any fatalities from it, but there were six people wounded. Now, shooting each other and burning things down or stealing everything in the building and then burning it down, that's not creating any kind of justice. It, it more, more or less defeats the purpose of the whole thing. This man and his family deserves justice. Not that it can ever be served. You can't return a human life. But somebody needs to pay and pay dearly. And burning down, destroying businesses, wrecking people's lives... Wrecking families. People work at those stores. They're not no more. They don't have a job. Don't people think at all? Come on. We got to get this guy behind bars and burning the town down ain't getting it done. He still hasn't been arrested. You guys have been burning the town down now for two days. We need your prayers. I normally just ask for prayers for Trump. I need prayers. Trying to sort this thing out. I'm going nuts. I hate this. I'm really glad I wasn't there because I'd have been going to jail that night. I'd have probably went over and kicked the guy in the face. I couldn't have taken it. When he, after the guy blacked out and he was still on top of him, yeah, I'd have been going to jail. I'd have been involved in that. I don't care. I'd have been going to jail. Okay? There's a right thing and a wrong thing to do. Now, I'm glad somebody had the intestinal fortitude to take him to film. But I'm really sorry and it's sad that here in liberal Minnesota... Nobody stood up and got involved and tried to help that guy physically. Somebody needed to get involved, obviously, because he's no longer with us. I feel terrible about it. You guys have a blessed day. Oh, that's right. We're on YouTube here. So like, share, and subscribe. Um, give me your comments. Let me know why you think that they're looting, why they're rioting. Uh, what good is it to steal everything and then burn the building down? You're ruining people's job opportunities. You know, we're trying to put America back on track and burn it down isn't going to get it open back up again. You guys have a blessed day. Leave me a comment, whether you liked it or not. This isn't one of my better ones, I'm sure, because I've been trying since 4 a.m. to come up with something to, to share. There's no good news. So I'm just asking for prayer. Pray for Minneapolis. 
Pray for the people investigating and pray these idiots get locked up soon. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. See you soon. Like, share, and subscribe.